Welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you Spice Bomb Infrared from uh, Victor and Rolf Eau de Parfum. So if you'd like to learn more about how this new scent from uh, Victor and Rolf is, then please stay tuned. So this is a scent that has been released literally uh, a week ago this is an eau de parfum concentration and it's spice bomb infrared uh, to be honest i have not tried the infrared or the toilette because for me spice bomb extreme is the only one from victor and rolf which made sense to try own to smell the other ones didn't made me very curious so now i got this sample in a package and i said okay i'm gonna give it a try the perfumers behind the scent are Carlos Benaim, Nicolas Beaulieu, and Jean-Christophe Hero, which is the perfumer behind Aventus. These three uh, experienced perfumers have created this one, so I have high hopes about it. So I'm gonna spray now. It's very nice, guys. It's very, very nice. I like it very much. Wow, it has such a strong and interesting and pleasant smell. In top notes you'll have cinnamon, chili pepper and pink pepper and I think the pink pepper in here is very powerful because I like very much how it pops when you spray it. In middle notes chili pepper and leather and in base notes resins and woodsy notes. It has a very strong uh, opening with this pink pepper then I can tell you that I also feel these woodsy notes like as if you are walking through an AR where um, a tree has been cut and you have this um, timber and uh, the remainings from the tree which give this specific smell wow it's very nice i don't know how it was with the eau de toilette but uh, you know the parfum theoretically uh, it will um, perform better and i guess that's why also they came with a flanker another flanker in order to give this impression that if you buy the eau de parfum then it will last longer on your skin. It's a very nice smell. Now, after a few minutes, it became very woody somehow. I remember the Spice Bomb Extreme that was very spicy, like it says on the perfume. And this one doesn't remind me so much of the Spice Bomb Extreme. It's my favorite from uh, Victor and Rolf. This one here is woody and lightly spicy. It goes very fast close to the skin. So right now, after I sprayed it, I would expect a bit more projection right after spraying it. But for some reason, uh, it gets closer to the skin. But the smell is very, very pleasant. I don't know if it's for the fact that I use a sample and the sample sprayer is not very powerful. Or maybe in the bottle, you will have this stronger sprayer, which will give you more juice. But when you spray it, it does project so i do feel here this bubble of nice smell from this victor and rolf it does smell nice um, it does smell like a perfume where these perfumers have put a lot of thought into creating it it doesn't uh, give me the impression of uh, let's make a fast flanker for the summer or so so that it will just cash the money and then disappear so i think this one will become one of the popular scents from uh, victor and rolf i don't know how it is now with the infrared because they had like one with green one with red uh, when a perfume house is just releasing countless flankers they just uh, lost me so i was like okay spice bong may stream and all the rest i'm just gonna avoid the noise because it's mostly like another way for them to make more money out of a good scent which was in this case the spice bomb the one though the toilet i like very much the pink pepper guys from the top note which gives uh, a certain roundness to this scent and then it's a matter of choice it's a matter of preference if you liked this um, probably if you liked the eau de toilette so the infrared eau de toilette you will also like the eau de parfum and if you're just new to the brand and you go into the perfumery and you spray some of them, give it a try because in my opinion it smells really nice. Yeah, so far I have a good impression about this scent. I am not sure that I'm gonna look for a bottle because 
it's a pleasant smell. I don't dislike it, but I cannot say, oh my God, I cannot wait to purchase a bottle of this one. And I guess with a nice offer and a nice price, uh, it would have a place into the collection. I will rate this release from Victor and Rolf with an 8 out of 10 because it's a very nice and pleasant smell. I think it has uh, great versatility. You can wear it literally everywhere and nobody will be offended by it. On the contrary, if somebody can actually smell it, if you spray it on the clothes and actually can smell it, I think you will also get a few um, discussion topics or like even compliments because it's a very nice and pleasant smell. Uh, based on the notes and based on the character of the scent, I think this would work well in the colder times. But with this projection and this performance, nobody will ever smell it. So I don't know, I would see it for colder times, but if you overspray and in the warmer times, maybe you can just spray it for your own satisfaction of having this smell because it's very pleasant but I don't think it will work very well with high temperatures. If it will project a bit more and with the heat, I think it will be even choking a bit. So yeah, that's uh, what I think about this new Eau de Parfum Flanke from Victor and Rolf. I hope you enjoyed this first impression based on a sample which I got and I made this uh, very fast um, video for you. And please let me know in the comments below if you have tried it which is your favorite from Victor and Rolf and if you would like to try Spice Bomb Infrared from uh, Victor and Rolf or the Parfum so thank you very much for watching have a nice day stay healthy bye bye